Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Rosie Rosette 2020. Today is August, August 2nd. Okay, so their names are Brett Hankinson, Miles Cross Grove, and Jonathan Mattingly. These people right here. Do they look familiar? Do you guys know who these people are? No? Okay. These are three men that were in on killing Brianna Taylor. Do you guys know who Brianna Taylor is, right? She's the black EMT that was killed by these three men. I think it was in March. Okay, let me see. Maybe you guys didn't see it before. Okay. Let's see if it focuses. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. So these are the three guys. Three white men who ran up in her apartment and lied and said that the postal office was claiming that um, a drug dealer was sending packages to this child's apartment. Now, she's an EMT worker, okay? So, um, you know, the people in the ambulance? Yeah. So these people are still out in the bow. I think one of them, I think it's, no... I think it's Jonathan who was fired from the job. But the other two, they're still free. Yes, they're still free. They have not been arrested or arraigned or anything. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. But yet, you know, we don't hear anything about, you know, them being arrested. It's been, what, three months now or four months? April, May, June, July. Yeah, four months. Four months and they're still walking on the street like nothing happened. So, again, they can go to anybody's house on a non, no-knock uh, uh, warrant arrest at 1 a.m. in the morning, 12.38, I think to be exact. Um, they shouldn't have been there. Now, again, I don't know if it was the wrong address. The person was already in jail. The post office never stated that some illegal or suspicious packages were going to her, you know, her address. So why were they at her, um, why were they at her apartment? Again, she's an EMT worker. She knew something. She knew something. I think she saw something that she wasn't supposed to see. I don't know, did she report something to Eternal Affairs, Internal Affairs? What, what's the underlying issue? Because at first they said it was the wrong address. Then they said that the post office, you know, stated that, you know, packages were going and the post office never said that. Why do you need to do a no knock at 1238 in the morning, you know? Um, how did you know that she was off that night? Because she's normally at work at that time. See, something, something is going on. And then they tried, no, they arrested, I'm sorry, they arrested the boyfriend, you know, got him to tell a story before he was protected by a lawyer or represented by a lawyer, used his information against him. And use investigators, I think the internal affair investigators interviewed the boyfriend, got his information, used it against him to help the officers. Oh, and they are still out and about living life. They don't have a worry in the world. And this lady, Brianna Taylor, this young lady is six feet under. She was an EMT, for God's sake. She wasn't a hooker on the street. She was, an, she was an essential worker. And she's dead. She's dead with eight bullets. I think it was eight bullets. This is five. Three. That makes eight. 
It doesn't matter if it was one bullet. She's still dead. 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 She's not coming back. Her life and any other black life that was killed by a man in blue, I don't care what color they are, any life, any black life, any life, period, that is killed unjustly. Again, black lives do matter. All lives matter. All lives matter. But it seems to be that black lives are being killed by cops at a record number for just insane reasons. Either cops or ex-cops or wannabe cops or cops that's been on the force for a couple of days. It doesn't matter. Cops should not be killing people. No. No. And if you think that your life is in, je um, in jeopardy, leave. Go. Go. You can get that person another day. I don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. But, you know, if you feel like you, you need to kill everybody because, you know, they're unarmed and they're black, you don't really need to be in the force. You don't. No. You don't. You don't. So, you know, I, I just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that, you know, these cops are walking free. It doesn't, and this girl is dead. I mean, my goodness, Oprah Winfrey is about to put her face, Bri Brianna Taylor's face on her magazine. Oprah doesn't do that. It's all about Oprah. But she feels and she supports this movement so much that she's going to break and have this young lady's, this dead young lady's face on her magazine. So that you people, meaning everyone, can understand how detrimental this is to our society. When, you know, cops are just going in, no knocking, going into apartments, killing people, you know, over false pretenses, you know, then you have, you know, um, Trump, you know, arresting people in Portland for no reason. For no reason. Well, maybe because of their protesting, but they're not identifying themselves. They're not reading their Miranda rights. They're just taking people in. This is not the state that we should be living in. Not in 220. You know, maybe in, you know, 1365. But in 220, no, no, this is not how we should be ending our lives. Because the way this is going, I don't know who upset what God or what ancestors or what spirits or whatever, but we're all in trouble. We got to get it together. And I hate to bring, you know, go from Brianna Taylor to the protests in, you know, Portland and the National Guard or whoever arresting people without stating why they're being arrested to the spirits, you know, but it's all bad. It's all bad. And I don't know if we need to do rain dances. I don't know if these whores need to stop sleeping with married men. I don't know if the, you know, crackheads need to stop doing crack. I don't know if the rich need to give everything to the poor, but somewhere we need to make some sacrifices. I don't know if all the women need to cut off their hair. I don't know if the men, well, I can't say the men need to be castrated, but, you know, the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we need to stop driving these cars so much. I don't know if we need to start walking, you know, stop buying so much takeout food and eating. I don't know if we need to, as people, you know, as a family unit, we need to all come back together and, you know, pray or reminisce or, you know, um, do some type of spiritual thing. I don't know. I don't know if we need to send smoke signals to, you know, our ancestors above. I don't know. But whatever it is, can someone please let us know so all of this can stop. Can all of the police brutality against black people stop? Please. You can't keep 
killing people. You can't treat black people like we're animals. We are not targets. We were brought over here, okay? Y'all needed us to build the country. So again, here we go, here we go. We need those reparations. You're not killing all of us so you don't have to give us our reparations. You already killed 155,000 people, you know, Maybe because Bill Gates didn't want, if he, he felt it was too, too many people in the world. Maybe that's where all of this came from. You know, I was just, you know, talking about someone and she was saying, because it is said that maybe, you know, in Chinese restaurants, I think it was something on Facebook, Chinese restaurants, you know, they may sell rat or whatever. Well, since I've been known rat, dog, cat, bat. So this lady wants to debate with me. I said, oh, 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 oh. she's a well-traveled person like it. Actually, she's living out of the country. I think she lives in Dubai or somewhere near there. So I was like, no, no. I want you to tell me that you're saying that none of that goes on in Chinese restaurants. Then I went on my whole rampage about how the coronavirus, how did it start? Why did it start? Because of a what? A bat? Weren't they eating it or something like that? We still don't know how this has started. But going back to that Facebook debate, this is why we're in the state right now. People eat bats, whatever. I mean, listen, if you're hungry, you're gonna eat whatever you have to eat to survive, okay? I get that. I get that. But listen, I've been to Vietnam. I've been to China a couple of times, and I've been to Cambodia. They eat all kinds of things over there, all right? Heck, you know, down south, they eat raccoons. So don't tell me that, you know. She was like, oh, well, they, you know, I said, well, do you think What's your answer? She didn't give me one. She tried to give me, oh, well, we need, it needs to be tested. No, 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 no. You know what's up. I don't know why I go on these tangents, because then I forget about what I'm saying. I don't know what we're going to do. Because obviously the president doesn't know, because every day he's, most of the days he's not wearing a mask than the days he is, he's contradicting the doctor. And then the Nigerian doctor said that Dr. Fauci has, hasn't, doesn't even test pac patients. I'm like, you know, he doesn't even deal with patients. How does he deal? It's just, it's just a mess. And we are looking like fools. We're looking like fools. You guys are killing black people like your animals. The government is sending troops out and, you know, taking people to jail for what? For protest. I, isn't that our right to protest? People are being evicted from their homes. All the jobs are burning up. We're like literally living on air because we don't know what the hell is about to happen, you know, for the next day. It's just all bad. But Brianna is still dead. And these three young men, let's bring it back. I know, I know I go on tangents, but oh well, I don't care. And these three guys, no matter what's going on, no matter what's going on, they're still in jail. But now we can't even protest against them because Trump has got his troops out coming for the protesters, you see? But yet, Trump does not want to send the troops to go and arrest these three gentlemen. I wonder why. I wonder why. Now, if he can sign a declaration for troops to go out, but he can't sign a declaration for these men to be arrested, there's something wrong with his, his mental thought, his thought process. Something's not right because they committed murder. Well, one shot, or I don't know who shot. All three of them, whoever one shot or killed her, and the other two were accessories, okay? 
So if they didn't do anything and everything was right, well, why are they not still cops on the beat? If everything is okay, because one of them was fired. I'm not exactly sure. It's two o'clock in the morning. I don't know. But one. But they're still free. They are still free. It doesn't matter about anything else that I talked about and I went on a tangent about. These three men, men killed Breonna Taylor and they're still free. Okay? You got that? Let me just do it one more clear. Let's clear it up. Okay, you guys saw it before. Shoot. Come on, come on. Oop. There we go. Again. Here they go. All right. 